Hi folks, I'm Paul Vichesky. Today we're going to be talking about short sales. Number one question I get when I'm traveling across the country is why do they take so long? Well, there's actually a whole bunch of reasons why they take so long. However, I've narrowed it down to the top six reasons and I got them listed here on the board for you. Number one is caseload. Understand that the quote asset managers, and we're going to talk about what an asset manager really is in a moment. However, the asset manager could have as many as 500 different active files that they're dealing with. Now you multiply that by 500 calls, 600 calls a day by the listing agents that are calling in, the response times tend to be a little bit slow. So give them a little bit of break in that. Their caseloads are pretty, bit, pretty big. Number two, it's tactical. And remember I said they're quote asset managers. Well, in case you didn't know it, a lot of the short sale asset managers are really debt collectors because they're trying to collect the debt for the lender. Now they're gonna answer the phone, hi, this is Tom with Wells Fargo. However, they're really Tim with We Cheatham and How Collection Services. They play by a whole different set of rules under the Fair Credit Reporting Act. So when you call as a listing agent, you have to assume that they're a debt collector. And remember, anything that you say or anything that you disclose about your client, the seller, can be used in the debt collection. So use caution. So again, if they're a debt collector, they're paid on a percentage of what they collect. So when they collect, you know, you always wonder why they're, they're bickering over a hundred or a two hundred dollar fee on the closing statement. It's because the more that they collect, the more commission that they get. So it's a tactical reason. Number three, it could be that the lender has to negotiate the approval of the short sale with the, um, the PMI or the UMI insurance company. Remember, if they don't put 20% down, it's an FHA loan or it's guaranteed by VA there has to be that approval from the insurance company. So when you call whatever bank is servicing the, the loan, they may be okay with the amount of the offer. However, they have to go one step further and go to that insurance company and say, are you okay with it? Remember, if the insurance company says, no way, this deal doesn't happen, your short sale is either countered, the, the, the price is countered, or, you have to, or, or it's basically terminated. Uh, the next one, they have to negotiate with the owner. Here's the catch, and a lot of people don't know. Over 30% of all mortgages are not really owned by the bank. On your mortgage statement, it may say Chase Financial, Wells Fargo, U.S. Bank, or, or whoever. However, they're only the servicing company for the owner. And the owner could be a, a, a real estate investment trust. It could be an individual owner. However, um, when you call that company that's servicing the loan, and it's taken a month, two months, three months, there's a good chance there's an owner behind the scenes trying to figure out whether or not they want to accept a short sale or what a good ratio is going to be. So it may not be the bank's fault in any way. The next one is what we call, I love this, phasing schedules. Well, what's a phasing schedule? Well, remember, up here, if it's a debt collector that's trying to collect a debt, they may know that it's five, six, seven months until a you know, drop dead foreclosure date. So what they're going to do is put ratios in place. We call it the the uh, offer of the purchase, the ratio to the balance that's owed. So for example, if they're in the first month, they may say, well, we're only going to accept maybe two, three, or five percent of the ratio. Then the next month, it's eight to ten percent. And they're going to keep those hard, fast numbers in place. They call it a phasing schedule. And the last one is simply, you ticked them off. If you harass them, you call them, you send threatening emails, you leave verbal abuse on their, their voicemail, guess what? If they're truly uh, a, an asset manager and not a debt collector, their staff, their salary, they could care less about you. They're still going to get their paycheck. You make them mad. Guess where your file goes? It goes to the bottom of the pile. So keep that in mind. These are the top six reasons why short sales take so long. And hey, if you're looking for a, any kind of a reback instructor, call me. I do all the uh, reback certified courses. Uh, give me a call today, 402-660-0395. Check out the website, Mr. Real Estate CE. That's Charlie Echo, MrRealEstateCE.com. Thanks. Until next time, be safe out there.